Hey Calvary, it's Pastor Joe. It is Thursday and I have your word for the day. We are continuing in our study of Philippians and today we're in chapter 2 verses 19 through 30. Now in this passage, Paul writes about two fellow followers of Jesus. He writes about Timothy and Epaphroditus. As he writes, he describes the character of these two men. It's a long passage, but let's read this together. Philippians 2, verses 19 through 30. If the Lord is willing, I hope to send Timothy to you soon for a visit. Then he can cheer me up by telling me how you are getting along. I have no one else like Timothy who genuinely cares about your welfare. All the others care only for themselves and not for what matters to Jesus Christ. But you know how Timothy has proved himself. Like a son with his father, he has served with me in preaching the good news. I hope to send him to you just as soon as I find out what is going to happen to me here. And I have confidence from the Lord that I myself will come to see you soon. Meanwhile, I thought I should send Epaphroditus back to you. He is a true brother, co-worker, and fellow soldier. And he was your messenger to help me in my need. I am sending him because he has been longing to see you and he was very distressed that you heard he was ill. And he certainly was ill. In fact, he almost died, but God had mercy on him and also on me so that I would not have one sorrow after another. So I am all the more anxious to send him back to you for I know you will be glad to see him and then I will not be so worried about you. Welcome him with Christian love and with great joy and give him the honor that people like him deserve. For he risked his life for the work of Christ and he was at the point of death while doing for me what you couldn't do from far away. Both Timothy and Epaphroditus had character traits worth talking about. First, let's look again at how Paul described Timothy's. First, in the bullet point format, he, he said, Timothy is there to cheer me up. That there are some people uh, that are just downright depressing to be around, but Timothy was not like that. Paul said Timothy had the ability to cheer him up. Then he said he genuinely cares about your welfare. See, Timothy cared about these followers of Jesus with a deep, genuine love and concern. And then finally, he says about Timothy, he proved himself by serving with Paul as he shared the good news. Then Paul begins to talk about Epaphroditus. Uh, he said that the, the Philippians had sent Epaphrodi Epaphroditus to help Paul uh, while he was in prison. And while he was in there, while he was in prison, Epaphroditus became sick so sick that he almost died. Paul made the decision to send him back to the Philippians and he included some thoughts about his character. He called him a true brother, a co-worker, a fellow soldier. He said that he helped Paul in his time of need. He said that Epaphroditus longed to see his fellow believers and that Epaphroditus risked his life to care for Paul. These two men that Paul describes demonstrate great character. As followers of Jesus, we know that we can't represent God unless we reflect the character of God. So as we think about these two men, the character of these two men, I want you to ask yourself some questions. When you are around others, do you cheer them up? Do you bring cheer to their life? Or do you stir up fear and gossip and worry? Do you have a deep concern for your fellow brothers and sisters in Jesus or only for those that you really love, like your family? Do you have a deep concern about other followers of Jesus and how they're doing during this crazy coronavirus season? Could you be described as faithful when it comes to serving others? How could those closest to you describe your character? What would they say about you? 
And what would they say is important to you? How would they describe to others what's important in your life? Because how they would describe it is what they see that you value. Ask them. Their answers are going to reveal what they think represents your character. So ask people around you, what do you think I really value? Because what they think represents your character. Now it's my prayer today that you would continue to press into the heart of God and allow his character to shine through you in this dark world to impact other people. I hope that you have a great day. God bless you.